Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. And the name of this video is Mardi Gras and the Day After. Now, the day after Mardi Gras is called Ash Wednesday in the Catholic Church. Maybe you notice these ashes that are on my forehead right here. They are put there in the form of a cross at church this morning. And Ash Wednesday marks the beginning the beginning of Lent. It's the first day of Lent, which is a season in the church right before Easter. And when the priest puts the ashes on your forehead, what he said, he could say one of two things. He could say, remember man that from dust you came and to dust you will return. Or he can say, repent and be faithful to the gospel. Now, both of these little prayers are to remind us that without God, we're really nothing. I mean, just dust, no life in us at all. And if we repent and return to the gospel, then we can have everlasting life by following Jesus Christ right up to heaven on the last day with our bodies in as well as our souls. So, this Ash Wednesday comes right after Mardi Gras, which is Tuesday. And Mardi Gras stands for Fat Tuesday. And it's a, it's a French, French words, Mardi Gras. But um, the reason it's called Fat Tuesday is because it's the day before Lent. And in Lent, we often fast. Whereas on Fat Tuesday, it's the last day before you're going to have to fast for a long time. And it's called Fat Tuesday because many people would eat things that they knew they weren't going to be able to have during the Lenten season. So, this is a Catholic thing. Uh, maybe other religions too, I'm not sure. But if you see people walk around with ashes on their heads on Ash Wednesday, uh, a few weeks before uh, Easter, usually comes at the end of February. But if you see that, then you'll know what it is. So thank you.